Um, so when and why did you start golfing? Well, uh, my uh, well, my parents started playing uh, when I was seven years of age, and obviously the whole family started as well. So that was he used to play soccer uh, for his local golf club, but then you know he got to the age where a bit too old, so he decided to play golf. So the whole family started playing golf when I was seven years of age. Yeah. So it's a family business. Yeah, yeah exactly. A family affair. <laughs> okay. What is your best golf moment? Well, obviously, my best golf moment would be winning, winning the Masters in 1991. And uh, after that, I would say being part of the Ryder Cup is uh, uh, a fantastic uh, achievement. And being part of that uh, and being so successful, it's been... Uh, Eight it's times been a winner. Eight times a winner and Ryder Cup captain, it's been brilliant. And yeah. vice captain before that. And vice captain. With yeah. Sam Torrance. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. good moments. Good moments, yeah. Okay. Um, so, what really did the Ryder Cup mean to you? Well, I think for being part of the Ryder Cup, it meant, you know, you've, you've, you've got to the stage in, in golf where, you, in Europe especially, you've got to a stature where you're playing eight times. It means you've been you know, very successful and. Uh, but I think it's more about uh, the competitiveness against uh, America. We wanted to prove that Europe was a very strong tour, and I think over the years we proved that. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, what are our European chances in Chicago? Well, I think you know, looking at the two teams, are very, very strong. So it's very difficult to say who could, who could win. You know, obviously people say, you know, home, home, home advantage. Yes, but these guys. In Europe, play all over the world now, all the time, and uh, I think the the Europeans are more coped to play in all kinds of conditions now. And uh, I, I don't think anybody's the favourite. I just think uh, it's going to come down to the ma uh, the captains who's going to manage the teams prop best. And you know, I would say they're both very experienced, but uh, I just think the Europeans are just going to win by half a point, or they'll tie and we'll retain the we'll ret retain the cup. Okay. That's a good spirit. Oh. I like that. <laughs> uh, what can Nikola Kolsides bring to the European team? Yeah, I think, you know, what would Europe's able to do a lot, that we've done in the, in the past, is when we're in the team, is the experienced guys will sit down with him, and talk to him, get his feelings, get the feelings from the other players, make him feel comfortable. Hopefully the captain will speak to him, feel like, who would you like to play with, and who would you feel comfortable with, and and also explain to him, you know, obviously, you know, for me when I played, I would play with anybody, you know, but that's part of being, for some players play more comfortable with other players, but, uh, you know, he's going to be a very long hitter. He, especially in the four balls, very, very important, and uh, sometimes in the, in the foursomes, uh, you know, I hear the course is going to be fairly wide open, so he can blast it. And the guys or someone say someone like Luke Donald's experience player put him with him who's gonna be very, very steady. That was my next question and I was thinking too. Um, I'd pair, pair him with Luke Donald with his perfect irons. So who would you pair him up with? Well I'm not quite sure. Uh, uh, you know, I'd have to look down and sit down and uh, ask him that question. But you know, just that's just an example or someone you know, you you must probably put the two Irish guys together or whatever. You know, someone who's got a bit of an who's going to be really, really, or even someone like Lee Westwood in the end of the day. Yes, with the experience. Yeah, the experience, and he's always pretty straight off the tee, and he's consistent. And a good putting. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, how uh, can having played the Ryder Cup change your life? I don't think it changes your life, but it's just being part of it. Uh, uh, you know, you know, everybody in Europe wants to be part of the Ryder Cup team, but... Uh, you know, it is it is getting one of the biggest tournaments in the world now. You know, but even one of the biggest uh, you know, sponsored sponsorship, and uh, it's the third biggest in the world behind the Olympics and the World Cup or something like that. Without so prize money without for the players. Money, that's exactly, and then it's you play for honour, and uh, and then what's that's what's what's fantastic about the Ryder Cup. Yes. Um, what can his participation bring to Belgium? Well, I think that's, uh, you know, it's a bit like Wales when we, when we had the Ryder Cup and what I fetched from Wales. Excelled in Manor. Excelled But now Nicholas is there, hopefully other players from Belgium and the people from Belgium will get more interested and the golf will get bigger and bigger. 
and hopefully we, you know, we'll have some more tournaments in, in Belgium, maybe go for the Ryder Cup as well. Yeah, and uh, maybe having back uh, the tournament in the Lezout where you played in 1999. Well, I, exactly, yeah, and uh, I played there a few times and I, I miss going back to Belgium, I haven't been there for a while. I recall you played the par 3 in Sutton. <laughs> that was pretty bad. Well, I do have some bad holes now. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not only amateurs that have bad days. No, no, no. I think sometimes you just get frustrated and uh, <laughs> you end up with a, a big, big score. <laughs> yes, on one hole, unfortunately. Um, if you would have one tip to give to the European team here in, at the Ryder Cup, what would it be? Well, uh, what would I want to give to them? Well, as, a, as a tip. As a tip, well, oh yeah, I say, well, uh, listen to the captain, listen to the, the younger guys, listen. But, the, you know, it's, it's only Nicholas who hasn't played before, so, yeah. you know, everybody's a little bit more experienced. But uh, I would say enjoy it, you know, enjoy the experience of being in the Ryder Cup. And also, you know, you try hard, but don't try too hard. When you try too hard, you don't perform at your best. Uh, mm -hmm. So enjoy it, relax, and have a good time. And which tip would you give an amateur to improve his game? Well, I think, you know, I've been asked this question millions and millions of times, and I think the secret about golf swing is keeping your head still. You know, it's keeping it still when you go back, keeping it still when you come through, but also not going up and down. It's got to stay on the same plane as well. Not That's the putting, then? The putting, you know, putting is it's a, it's a feel thing. You know, everybody has different actions, but first of all, you've got to hit the ball pretty good, and, you know, you can always practice your putting indoors, outdoors, whatever, yeah. so... Hitting the ball is the most important. Okay. What is your uh, opinion on the democratization of golf? Well, uh, you could explain a little bit a uh, bit more to me what you mean by that. Um, well, that uh, it's not elite anymore. No, I, I, exactly, because there's not more public courses. It's uh, At the moment, you know, uh, the recession and everything, uh, a lot of golf courses struggling. You know, there's a, there is a little bit more of the elitists can only play golf again a little bit, but this will change over and hopefully in the future, in the next five or six years. And uh, But, you know, people, the golf clubs are cheaper, uh, the bags, the clothes, it's more, what would we say, more sexier, yeah. and, and uh, everybody wants to play golf. Okay. Um, and what will the score be in Chicago? As I say, 50-50, a tie. A tie? No, then we don't bring the, home yes, the you cup. Yes, you do. We are the retaining. Oh, okay. So we keep. Okay, yeah, good. It's, it's a good. It's a good. <laughs> He's uh, a diplomat. <laughs> I, sit, I, do, I sit on the. I sit on the fence. Okay. Well, thank everything. you. Okay. Thanks very <laughs> thank much. Thank you for all your time. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> Mr. Torrance, what did the Ryder Cup uh, mean to you? Uh, the captaincy. The captaincy and playing as well, because you played it eight times. Yeah, playing was fantastic. It was highlight of my career, but the captaincy was, without doubt, the best thing that ever happened to me in golf. And you had Ian Wisdom as a vice captain. Mm -hmm. How was the relationship? We've been friends forever, so great. It was a great captaincy as well, winning. Well, the team played great. That was the important thing. It was nothing to do with me. Okay. What are our chances as Europeans against the Americans? Uh, they've got better. Uh, if you'd asked me two months ago, I'd have said America, but in the last six, seven weeks, Europe have been very strong. Three wins from McElroy, Garcia winning, Laurie winning, so it's looking good. And what about the two wild cards? Yeah, they were the right picks. Couldn't pick anyone else. So Poulter and our, because we are Belgians, um, Nikola Kolsalt is a good draw for you. Yeah, absolutely. He's a great player. Won two match by one. I think he won the Belgium match play, he won the world match play, and he was runner up in the world match play. So he knows match play well, he's a very long hitter, and he's a good asset to the team. So, what can he bring to the team? Points. Just points, or his uh, winning spirit? Well, he's not won that many tournaments. No, but in the group. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, he's, he can play great, he can, he can be a great asset mm -hmm. to the team, but it's going to be a big occasion for him, he's going to get a shock. Yes. He needs to know what's coming. And um, who would you pair him with uh, as a captain? Colesart? Yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the team that well now, okay. to be honest. Uh, I don't mix with them. I don't play on that tour. I've played on that tour for 10 years, so it's impossible to say, really. Okay. And, uh, I think what Paul Laurie is asked to play with them. Yes, because he's a, rook oh, well, a, a good... Uh, yeah. Um, and what would be your counsel for him? So what would be your tip? Relax, for him to relax and enjoy. 
relax and Play enjoy for the Ryder Cup or yeah. uh, and for his career? The career is finished. It's nothing to do with his career. This is the Ryder Cup. That's all he has to think about. And what nothing can else. his participants bring to Belgium? Uh, he's a Belgian. What can he bring to Belgium or Belgian golf? Well, they now have a Ryder Cup there. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time. No problem. And play Thank well you. here.